Welcome to the observation of a living earthworm lab. Number one, describe the earthworm's movements. Does this worm have an anterior and a posterior? How do you know? Number five, use a ruler to measure the length of your worm and estimate the number of segments. Approximately how long is this worm? We're gonna zoom in. How many segments can you count between two and three centimeters? Multiply this times the length of your worm to estimate the number of segments in your worm. Number six through eight, observe the small bristles on the earthworm and answer the questions that follow. Number nine, sketch your worm. Be sure to label the dorsal, ventral, posterior, anterior, and setae. Question number 10 through 11. Use the probe to touch the anterior end of the body. How does the worm respond? How about the posterior? Other areas? Which area of the worm is the most sensitive to touch? Number 12, how does the worm respond to water placed on its anterior? How does it respond to water placed on its posterior? Compare the response between water and the probe. Number 15. How does the earthworm respond to moisture in general?
Come on, go the other way. Go the other way. Ow! My head on wet again. Okay. Now I see a little more movement here. Okay, that's going to wet. <laughs> Your worm is not behaving the way I expected to. Yeah. That's okay. How many more do we have left? Ow. We're going to see how the worm responds to ammonia. The anterior end first. <laughs> Stinky. And then on the posterior. Number 16. How does the worm respond to scent placed at its anterior? Okay. How about its posterior? Which end is more responsive? And not really responding to light. Number 19 through 20. How does the earthworm respond to light shined on its anterior? You guys can put the trays on the side of me. Just don't go in front. Thank you. What about other areas of the worm? Number 22. How does the worm respond when placed on top of loose soil? And that concludes the video. Thanks for watching.